What's up? This is your boy Super, and I'm playing the medium. So we've been having a lot of encounters with the mall. So we're about the middle of the game as far as the tension and the complexity goes. We're in the day room now. Following the orders of sadness. Now we need to have a OE, OOE, OBE, out of body experience. Oh no, we gotta cut. Cut the flesh like barrier with our safety razor. Or no, our, this is a regular razor blade. The safety razor is the old fashioned face razor that you look like modern day razors with the, the smaller head and the stick. Richard? Oh God. Are you there? Two different maps being loaded at once. Awesome, awesome demonstration of the PS5's capabilities and the pieces, particle effects, that's awesome. Somewhere else. We were close once, you know. All right, I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. puppet. Isn't that what sad to say? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> this is Guiding light. Trophy earned. Find a page for the mentor's diary. 40%, 43% complete on the trophies. Tomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination. Mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave. The way he described them, every minute, minute detail, it was, as, it, it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it. As if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him a peek beyond the edges of our reality. An angel? A demon? Is there really a difference? I know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive on my canvas. Some would say I used the boy to feel my waning creativity, but how could I not? To let this unique perspective, this bottomless well of inspiration, go to waste? That would be an unforgivable sin. Two cats. Drawing of a horse. Right in the saddle, sir. I want you to meet Lillian. You have friends, little girl? I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? There's another paper over there. <clears throat> a letter. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so, he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess that I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then, he met her. 
Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his hidden demons. If she's talking about the guy who drew the horses, yeah, I would, I would say he would make a great architect. Artists work in crap. Creative, abstract ideas, not realistic recreations. If you could draw photorealistic pictures, then people would want you for things like graphic design and architecture and that, things like that. <clears throat> I remember the first time I met him, working a simple factory job, still more, more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents then died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him. But it soon became clear. He had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that. Despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. So we've got an invisible barrier, another oh, door. This place is packed with memories. Whoa. Guilt. The arms oh, on the bottom world are like <laughs> invisible variations in reality on the top world. Globe. That globe. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. And all the only thing we can put in there is razor blades. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. It became a habit of ours. We sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he closes his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror and splendor of worlds beyond our own. We started out as an innocent exercise, and imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I considered why, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, the source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, they say. Thought we could walk out right here, but it's not working. We gotta find something to puncture the globe with. The other half of the music now. I'm missing the third piece. And a piano. I don't know, walk back in. My, my shield isn't working. I was trying to hold my block button, but it wouldn't work. The uh, door. Locked. Locked. I bet you that's where the last piece of sheet music said. We need to do the O-B-D-E. Color. That's what it looks like. Is that another memory floating here? Doesn't make any damn sense. There was another door that looked like that one.
There it is. Oh, but it only looks that way in the real world. We can't get to it from the imaginary world. Well, there's the doorway. Where does this go? To the globe room. We don't have nothing to put in the... Oh, this might glow in the globe. A collar. We should try that. It did, it did. Wonderful. So we've got to align, oh it's a mouth. So we gotta put the eyes on top. The nose in the middle. I think we've got the mouth on the bottom and the eyes on the top almost. Shit. There we go. Fuck. Perfect. Show me a way out of here. Oh, we could rotate the globe to change the room. I'm gonna try for the go go to the sliding glass door if we can. Or the window, if that's what it is. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like oh, it's good. missing something. <clears throat> These. <clears throat> Teaching in piano or something? A little girl? Her voice, is that? The new sadness was Lillian, the one that was tormented by. Hannah and Werner. Can't fool me. We gotta do an OBD, OBE. Oh, it's pulsating like it's alive, too. to locker seven or room seven. That's where the last piece of the sheet music is. Here's the piano. You gotta have the whole sheet. The teacher's room key, okay. <clears throat>
Okay, we're back to Lake Beginning. Uh huh. Isn't there a locked door around this area? Here we are. I knew the last piece would be behind this door, didn't I say that? A bit dark over here. This looks like a, a pen holder case. I believe we're just doing the inside. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Uh, I don't know, Tom. See, that's definitely a pen in there, isn't it? And then there's a spot next to it for the pencil or something. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us. Tomas and Mercard. Ricard. So, he brought him here. Hmm. Kidnapping. Wonder who he meant by them. The evil people. Do we? The maw. Spectacles. Ricard and Tamar, Tomas. No, Palisman. Palisman, Tomas. Ricard was unconscious. I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Tomas did. Another lettery. Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. No, I no longer had him for all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking, both in her beauty and intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he was found true happiness, true love strong and pure well as pure as it can be i guess in any case i was no longer needed when the project came along the one that would eventually be known as niwa i pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted even though i knew it would drive any even bigger wedge between us i wanted the best for him he was the closest to a son that i'd ever had that should be all the pieces of the score now Voila. On to the piano. What the fuck are we stuck on? Shit. Blacked off now. I forgot. This is the wrong direction. We passed the piano. I think. Music sheet. Now we blast the way out of the door here. Now we gotta get back into the globe room. One last barrier we need to remove by spinning the globe, I guess. Pen case, blah, blah, blah. Oh, 
Oh, oh shit, run girl, run girl. I'm trying to get your body wet. Work that. Let me see you drip sweat. Uh, 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 go, 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 go. Used up all of our power. Big building. A nice variety of rooms to it. Paintings. The yep, realism again. Be crazy. You have expecting a young child to let you let you sit there and draw them like that. Always flirt with her now. Her young innocent love. So much better than adult women. I'm getting a weird vibe from it. There's grief. So I predicted that sadness was the end in the last video and I also predicted that he molested her or some type of sex crime with her I don't remember exactly but he said something to her that you only say to people you're trying to develop sexual relations with I forgot what it was Is spending a whole lot of time with her. They're not related, mind you. So he has no 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 obligation to spend time with her. Be nice to this. Oh, it's his uncle. I think that's not true. I don't think it's really her uncle. Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. Sexual desire. Another echo for the bow. He ripped it off of her. That's what left it here. Heat of passion. No, I didn't mean to. Oh God! What have I done? This is supposed to be an orphanage or something, or it has a daycare in it. And what a guy that works there go? named Richard has them call him Uncle Richard and spends every minute with her. He must have killed her before the incident. Uh. There's a wheelchair just rolled up to us. Nobody in it. And either realm. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> the Child Eater trophy earned. You experienced your first vision of Tomas. 45% complete. Trophies earned. King damn it! <clears throat> Something about the characters look look just a little out of um, wrong. I don't know what it is. So I guess it's just the lighting. Where the gravity of like the clothes aren't crumpling right around the body, maybe that's what it is. Because they don't, I don't. In a character model, they don't put the physics engine. They don't apply the physics engine to the character models. That's why the clothes look what? like hard plastic coverings as opposed to loose-fitting garments. Yes, I know. That's got to be what it is. And his hair is still no, stiff and I not need to moving. Be sure. 
His hair would have fell down to his forehead when he you. just jerked his head like that. And now I'm applying physics to the character you model. What? I've been trying, like in, in, in lots of games, I've been wondering what the hell it is. Fuck! So I, I finally just assumed it was the lighting, but now it's the physics. decided to let me out of my cave. And the new, new generation, they shouldn't be doing that. They should be applying physics engine to the characters. Surprise. There's no excuse for that. You know what? I'm not in the Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. I can feel it. It's around here somewhere. Oh, it's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't Let's make it just, easier when you keep me uh, in the dark for Complacency so long. or... Thanks for that, by the way. Or just being unexperienced so with the PS5 in general. It can be done without harming your game, I'm sure. Especially this but game. there's nothing here! They're just so used to not doing it for PS4 really? games, you know. Screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? You should, you should help me get that message out there. Put physics on your character models. We're in the next generation. I know every game company is going to do it just like this, too. Because they, they always copy each other. You can tell in Death Stranding they didn't what? use physics Grab on the, the character models either, up. but they hit it very well. Because all the characters look moving naturally and all the clothes are tight fitting. When he goes outside, he's wearing a ponytail so his hair doesn't have to blow. Or a hat. The story is a little upsetting. They don't apply physics to the character models. Like, I'm not interested like in this story. Obsessed. I don't care about Tomas. I don't care about Ricardo. Oh, I don't care about the factory. I like the sadness, and I like Marianne, the main character female. She's not even the main character. She's not in the story at all. She's just a Snoopy girl. And those are the only two characters I like. It was like a father to me. And they're just supporting characters. Fucking bastard! Who could he? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? We wait. And when he comes back, oh, just whoa, 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 easy time. <clears throat> What's at stake here? And they're not doing, they're not developing the characters and things well. The little side story about the guy molesting the girl, they're developing that, and that's it. Because if you don't, the event that ruined the factory and killed a bunch of people, they barely mention it. This guy and Ricardo, that relationship, they barely mentioned the singer. They didn't develop that either. And they didn't develop the main character's story either. But so far, they, they, they fully explained the, the child and the piano teacher. That's the whole story so far. Thomas. I wasn't expecting you. He's, uh... Everything all right, my friend? Did you do it, friend? Did I 
What? That's why I said, what? What did he do? My 13-year-old daughter. Lovely. Sadness was 13. She looks younger than that. Sons. Did you do it? I... I don't... I found the sketchbook. I forced myself to look through it. And when a girl turns 13 in some countries, they, arra you know, they arrange a marriage Every with single fucking men. page! Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I... It wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. There's a Bullshit. state inside of me. Shut up. And that's how Richard died. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Yeah, Thomas. right. So sorry. She's my daughter. I never wanted any of this. I, I, I should never have come here. But you did. You should know better than develop a personal relationship. With Knowing someone, what she so much means younger to me. Than Nothing good could come of that relationship. In, in the setting of the game, at least. Let me in! This is an awesome scene here. I like this. This cancer is spread far enough. To last. The vengeful ghost. We are controlling Tomas in the spirit realm. When we gotta set Richard All free. Alright, Richard. This is your world. Show me what you He's even got the same powers as our girl, Marianne. Marianne. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you? Made you what you are? Oh, press and hold R1 to just before the hit to counterattack. Turn the gamma up a little bit here. <clears throat> His powers are orange like fire because he's full of rage and he's vengeful. That's cool, I like that. I like how there's combat too, and it's more than just a walking simulator Something detective here. game. It awoke on that day when she came here. It took over. Made itself at home. Oh, look at those giant hands floating around on the right and left. It's grandiose. So is this building. Look at the resolution of the building. Detail. And then there are things that clings closer to us are blurrier or it's got a nice scale and pr perspective to it. Beautiful freaking game. Loss. Hatred. 
grief. This place reeks of them. Something terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? No! Leave her alone! Bernard, Bernard? This is it. Richard's big, ugly secret. The sum of all his He says he's got a demon in him, forcing him to conduct criminal sexual acts. This blade, father's knife. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You better go and bring it to him. So this is setting up to be the, looking like the end of the game. We kill Richard and that's it. We're only six hours in. I read that it would be eight to ten hours. I don't see how there could be a variation. There's no side quests or collectibles or anything pretty linear game. Does he have the insight? He does. Father, his his insight's right. dark. Instead of a light around Thank him, you. it turns into a shadow. You see that? You know Why don't you kill yeah. Yeah, Shadow insight. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? Never coming no. back. Because Richard's father left him when he was a boy, that's what that demon made him commit sexual acts with children. Oh, that is so cool. Where are you going? Evil the within, if you like hours. this, evil within two is going with 30 freaking no. hours of nothing no. but things like that and horror monsters and PT style things. You really need to play that if you like this. And observer system redux, psychological, psychedelic type of games, or psychological, but sometimes what spectacles we want isn't what's important. You Shifting environments controls Why? pretty good too. When Similar come style. Back? Take care of your mother, Richard. Like that doesn't You're automatically man, put you on my top ten list. But those are really good games worth buying. Like this probably is not going to go on my top 10 list. Observer System Redux, it didn't. It's a bit too focused on technologi technology and in the future and things like that for my taste. Sometimes I think it hinders, I mean, gets in the way of... It, it takes away from the rest of the game all the technology in it. By the sweat of your brow. Service metal. She by, by the blood of your hands. Anybody can sweat. The military bleed. The desk. Will you return to the Father's earth by which you came? So we're Thomas, right? Investigating Richard's beach or his seam. Because this is all Richard's dust father's you stuff. To dust, you Must be Richard's mammy. And we're gonna kill Richard. Those we're gonna tentacles kill are guarding something. Doing something with our daughter. But my guess is some type of. He was trying to do something sexual with her and kill her. Because she wouldn't wouldn't do it right with him or whatever. Why can't we do a spirit blast here? We should have some. Yeah, we've got a full meter. And it doesn't want to do it. Hmm. Check the fireplace. Knife to cut open an envelope. 
As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant, Lieutenant Thaddeus Tarkowski. He whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. His country will be forever grateful for the sacrifice he made protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. So the clock made some up oh, or something on the desk. It's like a casket. It is a casket. Flame on. The death of our daughter has given us the power of fire. Look at this beautiful landscape here. You can still see the flatness in some of the things like that bush right in front of us. That's terrible. That's like PlayStation 2 graphics. Come on now. I like the walkway we're walking on. And if you, if you try to not to notice the flatness, it looks freaking gorgeous. Flat polygonal shapes in a fucking next gen game. Hey, Richard. Come on now. Uh, see, the, the whole, most of the whole game, I was singing praises for the game. This is what happens with a lot if of games like uh, Plague's Tale, Innocence, Observer System, Redux. Once I get into the middle of the game, towards the end of the game, it just starts falling apart. What? Hey, freaking wait up. Flat landscapes, bugs, glitches, misdesigned things, complacency. Some games, it's almost like trying to rush Come the game on, out. Richard. First half My of the game is perfect. Then you can just almost tell they done. rushed it. Another memory of him forcing her to sit still. But was he drawing her or was he doing something else? Come on, Slowpoke! Yeah, I was, this game was, I was liking this game so much, but kind of going shit now. <clears throat> Especially, I don't think they're even going to offer an explanation to why we switched characters or why that's a good thing. Here, I'll try to bring Bo apart. Thank you, Richard. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Because Richard and, and Marianne didn't have anything to do with each other before she came here. Like, like for some games, they'll say you're part of the same team, you work for the same company, your brother Rose? and sister, your brother and Rose. brother. <clears throat> No, that's not really a good explanation, but at least it's something. <laughs> Over here! There you are! I was afraid you'd get lost in that. Me? I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. This looks nice. I like hey. that. Look at the little wooden fence. Like if you if you increase the artificial sun such sign, it would be un, sunshine. It would be unrealistic. Now this is probably as real as you can get, but you're like, I can't really see the ray tracing. I can't see this and that. You need to add more artificial fog, but still have a bright, shiny day. This is freaking beautiful. Like the grind ground right where we're standing is really good. Hey. 
You see that? Oh, that's so cool. The storm's coming. It's a big one. Oh, lightning. I love it. Go. Same spot tomorrow? I'll be there. Cute. That was freaking cool. Real cute. We got to so see the, go the flat here? polygonal pl plants. And it doesn't make any sense for the story and what we're doing. What was the point of that? The clock made a noise earlier. Now there's nothing we can do with it. Like we just go about trying to go back into the painting, or do we leave? Did we did we uncover discover a clue of the story of how what happened and whether or not he killed her on purpose or whether or not he did anything else to her? Things right. You serious? You look at look at what's so funny. Do you expect anything in this realm to be right? Mom, who is he? He's the Reaper. He's someone who can take care of us. Nice but to meet you. I can take care of you. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey. And he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Hey, come here. Checkpoint. I need you to do something for me. Mama's got a new boyfriend. Sounds like an alcoholic. I need you to bring me stepfather. You know which one. Yeah, real specific. We gotta place that thing in the chair. Okay, we can combine this with something it looks like, maybe. Unless we just place it in the chair. Oh what, you want a bedtime uh, story? <clears throat> I'm not your goddamn mother. book by doing that we did we sure did so Richard's demons we need to free him from sounds like his stepfather maybe his mother here we go mammy and daddy what the hell's taking so long useless just like his why the hell would I want that? You miss your daddy. Well, he ain't here. Real fucking charmer, that one. You said it, Tom. Bottle, that's what he wants. I really doubt he would have called it that thing, though. Or he even asked the kid to get it for Oh, him. you little shit. I'll teach you some respect. Another, another worm, huh? What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> I say that, or I'll cut you again. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. Lad. It's 
So I like so far this part of the game since we've been controlling Tomas has been funner and more intense and immersive than when we've been controlling Marianne. Get away from me, you bastard! No! 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 Mommy! I like how it's uh a crazy situation where people are like screaming, crying for help. And you can feel like you're fighting against something or there's danger. There's no sense, sense of danger in the first half. Or an urgency to it. Beats Richard and his mammy, no! and that's why he's a perv. Now, what we gotta do here? really well because the rest of the game is so dark. This looks like videos I've seen of Elden Ring. It'll be awesome if Elden Ring from software games or whoever makes Dark Souls, they're not known for their graphics. Especially freaking Dark Souls 1 and 2. Richard! So I wasn't expecting much from Elden Ring if it does look like this, so you can consider me impressed. Dying Light will be. I do expect that to very have very nice graphics. Not quite as much uh, processor showcases, like multiple items floating around on different paths, different two different perspectives on the same screen, and you know things that'll really use the power. I don't think expect that, but I mean, its resolution and its frame rate will be awesome, I'm sure. Because be Dying Light 1 was a game that looked really sorry. good on PS4, better Maybe than every should. other game almost, besides things like Death Stranding and The Last of Us. And it came out, well that one came out sort of mid or early cycle of the PS4. Richard, where are you? That was, and every other game looked shitty compared to that. H Hello? Warner WB Games, Tech, well, Dying Light, I don't know about the rest of Techlands games. And Naughty Richard, Dog is come out. pretty good developers. When it comes to graphical mm -hmm. fidelity. Blooper could get rid of any flat, obvious polygon shape. That would be pretty good too. The story kind of went awry. It has nothing to do with our main character. I wonder if they look at that as creative, artistic. The fact that the main character has nothing to do with the story. Richard! Maybe I just like girls too much because I'm single. I would rather have the whole game be about sadness and Marianne. I'm sure you're alright. 
This is a nice scene. Nice scene. And I bet you like there is like ambient or volumetric lighting or whatever coming from the things, but you can't see it because it, and it is realistic, but if you increased it to where you could see it, it would be unrealistic glows. That's what I bet. And no other games do perspective as well as this one though. I don't know what it is. Just let me get the hell away from me. Oh. Picture doesn't change a goddamn thing. Wonder when the last checkpoint was, because we are out of time. Can't freaking sprint either. Okay, fine, I'll leave the way I came in. Mommy? What's going on? Shh, listen to me, Richard. Listen to me, whatever. Some men have come to our house tonight. But why? What do they want? What is this? No! Stay away from me! Stay back! Must own Lone Shark money. Get away from me, you bastards! No! No! Let go of me! No, please don't! The attic. Collaborator. Who collaborates with the oppressor? We'll meet his demise. Who steals from, denounces, or otherwise acts against his compatriots? First house on the left, right next to the river, with the old cherry tree in front. They're hiding them in the pantry, under the floorboards. They let them out sometimes to stretch out, usually later in the day. Some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food, thus to come at night. Harboring traitors, aiding and abetting traitors against the movement. Commits an unforgivable crime that Jewish against people. the motherland. It's a star David and oh, Jordan. Swiftly punished. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Please be a checkpoint. It is a checkpoint. This has been your boy Super playing the medium. I hope you enjoyed it and it would help me out a lot if you could like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.